Hi everyone, I'm Suzanne. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a thrift haul. This includes three Facebook marketplace purchases as well as a thrift store purchase for chapter books and some middle grade books. I'll start with one of the Facebook purchases and that included three Professor Noggin games. Oh, upside down, which these are amazing, right? <laughs> First we have Ancient Civilizations, then we have Countries of the World 2. I've kept these in a bag since I brought them home because I wanted to make sure I hauled them. And now of course I want to know what is World 1? I have to check that out after this. And then we have Famous Inventions game. Also from the same lady, she had Scooby-Doo's Mystery Mad Libs. Daughter loves Scooby-Doo. I can't say she loves Mad Libs, but I have quite a few coming up this year for our language arts, so I think that might change, I'm hoping. And this says Mad Libs on the road. Actually, this is one I'll take with us this summer. We have a long drive to get to our summer cabin this year, so for our summer vacation, definitely take that. Then there's a Shrek 2 Mad Lib. Our second Facebook Marketplace purchase was for Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And my daughter had asked me for these and I had just purchased one like the week before at regular price at a bookstore for $20. And then I saw 12 of these for $20 at Facebook Marketplace. So of course I said, yes, I would like those please. And this is a mix of hardcover and softcover. And in this case, it doesn't bother me a bit. Now, what do I have here? Two four, six, eight, nine. Okay, so Vivian has three on the go. She actually said that the other day, that she had three on the go. So they're around the house somewhere. So she finds those very funny. And she's been in those already, which signifies uh, she really loves them. Okay, I'll do the third Facebook uh, marketplace. I purchased some art study books from someone. And she included, there was a paper, so sketchbook paper, one, another drawing pad, and another drawing pad. So we got those three uh, sketchbooks, and in terms of books, we have Drawing is Basic, Drawing and Writing to Learn, And there was also the first book in the Artistic Pursuit series. And this is grades K to three. And this one is an introduction to the visual arts. I was really excited to see that. I've been curious about it. I'm also doing a video over the next couple of weeks and that will show us going through some of these books because I have a couple more deciding what we're going to use next. And the final book that was included in that Facebook package was Drawing with Children. A creative method for adult beginners too. And it's funny, I did see this on Book Outlet. I do have a feeling though, this will not be one of my choices. There's a lot of reading in there. Like I look at that and I'm not as excited about that one, but I was excited about these two, which is why, and the sketchbooks for the price. So it's okay that this was in there, but I'm not sure. Well, I don't plan on looking at it anytime soon, but if you're familiar with this book and you have thoughts on that, why, please let me know down below. Okay, that was the third Facebook order. Now I'm going to move into the books that we picked up for a thrift haul. That, that was actually quite huge. I'm starting to wonder if I've, starting to wonder if we took books out already. Um, well, anyway, I'll show you what we have. <laughs> This was an older series, a chapter book series called Horrible Harry. Horrible Harry and Christmas. Horrible Harry and the Drop of Doom. Horrible Harry goes to the moon. Horrible Harry goes to sea. And Horrible Harry and the Kickball Wedding. You get the point. And the Dungeon, Secret, uh, the Ant Invasion, and horrible, the Holiday Haze. So this, or Holiday Days, sorry. And these are by Susie Klein. 
My daughter is very much into chapter books right now, so I definitely wanted to grab these. Now there was another series there. Now this was almost a complete set that I saw there. It was, it's called the Rescue Princesses. And So we're just missing book two. If Vivian loves them, then I'll order it from Amazon. This is The Rescue Princess, The Secret Promise, The Moonlight Mystery, The Stolen Crystals, The Lost Gold, The Shimmering Stone, The Silver Locket, The Ice Diamond, The Rainbow, the rainbow opal and the golden shell and it does have some illustrations in there to be honest i was thinking this was a totally different series that had been mentioned by somebody else i follow but hopefully it's okay get very excited when i saw almost a complete set i just couldn't help myself hopefully she really likes those if your child has read these please let me know what they thought of them down below okay this was just random pixie tricks the pet stone sprite and I'm just... so this is book three i guess this is a series maybe you can pick this one out and then this was we just did some study on the Titanic for their anniversary, the anniversary of the Titanic sinking. And this was one of those inter interactive history adventures. I asked Vivian if she wanted it and she said yes, although we did predict the ending in all cases. <laughs> okay, bad joke. This is Heron and the Sea of Stories by Salman Rushdie. And the cover looked amazing like it doesn't doesn't it look so cute and whimsical and I'll read you the back because I don't know anything about it let in an exotic eastern landscape peopled by magicians and talking animals uh, Heron and the Sea of Stories is a tale of a 12 year old boy and his adventure to restore his father's gift of storytelling by reviving the poison sea of stories in this wonderful delight for readers of all ages Salman Rushdie gives us an imaginative work of extraordinary power and endearing humor that is at its heart an illumination of the necessity of storytelling in our lives. Yeah, it just sounds so amazing. Did I say that a lot? Anyway, it sounds great. <laughs> okay, and these were just a, a simply a cover by. I wanted them on my shelf. I loved the way they looked. These are two classics. This one is Alice in Wonderland. And this one is through the looking glass. I thought they were beautiful copies. Now, did they have, I'll just tell you the year. I think it was 19. <laughs> yes, this is a special edition published by Random House 1946. Oh, there's lots of little illustrations. Got that one. And same. Yeah, I just couldn't pass them up. I thought they were so sweet. Like I said, these are the covers and then these are the spines. They look great on a bookshelf. Okay. Also picked up a copy of A Little Princess because I couldn't find, I thought we had a copy, but I couldn't find it. And this looked kind of neat. I certainly love the way it opens. I think I showed this in an updated video, like an update video, because we're currently reading this. Now it's interesting that, oh, here's some of the illustrations. I did have this in an update because I was sharing in all my excitement and Vivian sharing Vivian's my daughter's excitement as well because she read me the first chapter of this so we're reading this together I'll read some she reads some and um yeah so I feel really good that our readings reach the point that she can read this as well 
and we're loving the story. Now, a little funny side note, if you saw my last book outlet haul, there was a book in there called The Gilded Ones, and we've been listening to it on audiobook. And it's so funny, the timing, because it's a magical fantasy story about two little girls and, you know, their magic, and one was rich and lost all her money. Anyway, there's so much of this story, like, that is similar. My daughter and I both were like, what? Because they even had, you know, her father drops her off, that whole scene. And that's the same in the little princess and she's trying to be a big girl. It just, there's just so many similarities. It's funny because I've looked since about other people's like talking about this book or the reviews online kind of thing. Have I seen reviews? No, I haven't seen reviews. I've only seen blurbs of the Gilded Ones, like what the book's about. Okay, that was a total uh, digression from a haul, but there you go. <laughs> okay. Let's have a few more things, a couple more things to show you anyway. We got some big Nate books. Vivian said she liked these and she wanted some. So here is five of those. <laughs> and the last thing that I picked up was this horrible histories, rotten romance. This is a shuffle puzzle book. I just thought this was super cool. So you just keep me moving the pieces around. Well, it would be cool. Like, oh, there it is. Tells the story over there. And then over here you get to, so the Romans used stilts to fight on marshy land. Hook that up. Push that up and you get in 43 BC soldiers played football with an enemy's head. <laughs> nice. Anyway. Yeah. Rotten Rome. Anyway, I just thought this was really cool and I had to grab it. Those are all the books that I have to share with you. I'd love to know if you've had some great finds lately while thrifting. I'm a, I love thrifting books. And if you're like me, you probably had some great finds this month. So let me know in the comments what they are so I can share in your excitement. If you like this video, please hit like. And if you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe and I will see you soon with another video.